Are you looking for power, riders? Are you looking for some fire to play around, riders? If you're looking for some firepower, look no further as I have a fun build in my Hellblade because I'm just for you. Yo, what is up guys? This is yes right here and today I'm just gonna show you the fun build that I have made for my Hellblade Cleverness. I'm not sure did anyone make this build, but I don't really care. I'm just gonna post it out. So genes wise that you need to do for this particular fun build, you need none other you need of course the fire plus gene XL. After that you need the valiant fire you need the valiant fire gene, the fire clad gene, you need the pump up gene. Critical Eye Gene XL, Onslaught Gene XL, Full Swing Gene, Soul in the Wound, and of course the key factor himself, the Onslaught Gene, which gives you the help plate. And of course if you have a Rainbow Gene, smack that in the middle. And there you go, this is my build. You guys might be asking and wondering, DSY, why is there two buff moves? Well, the thing is, fun fact is, I did a couple of testing on this buff move. I tried using pump up with Hellblade, it does good damage. Then I use Valiant Fire with Hellblade, it does about the same damage, slightly higher. Then I thought about why not combine them both, use pump up first, then Valiant Fire second. The damage increased exponentially, it does 4.6k damage, you guys can see over here. So that's why. I'm actually quite surprised. I always thought that buffs do not stack in this game. I guess I was wrong. I guess buffs do stack in this game. So that's why I have two separate buffs. And I believe the rest of the genes are self-explanatory except for Salt in the Wound. Salt in the Wound is a gene that I always... I, I kind of have a hard time about should I put this gene in or should I not. In the end I decided to put it in because of the fact that I have Scorching Blade. Scorching Blade or the Full Swing Gene. Scorching Blade has a chance to burn and once you burn your enemies or the other monsters, you have you will do way more damage. If you actually have a monster that um, enables um, debuffs, well, lo and behold, your, your Hellblade levels will do more damage. So when it comes to um, sequential purpose wise on how you play this build, it's pretty straightforward. First, you start with a pump up, then after that you go into Valiant Fire and then you start to see your Hellblade Glavinus hit like a truck. And I mean a truck. I did a couple of testing on different monsters. The one, the first is Dum Dumbaros because he's weak to fire. And I play around, you know, with him. And man, Hellblade does hurt. Then I decided to take it up one step a notch. Why not try on Kirin? You know, Kirin is weak to fire and Kirin is an Elder Dragon. What is, what could go wrong? And I was so surprised on the damage that Hellblade Glavinus can dish out onto Kirin. It is, it is an extremely fun build. Um, it, it could be a little bit difficult in getting some of these genes, access, especially the pump up, because you kind of need to catch a, um, you gotta, you kind of need to catch multiple um, Devil Jewels. Um, aside from that, the other genes are kind of easy. Oh yeah, the salt in the wound is slightly hard to get because, I, if I'm not mistaken. These are only um, obtainable from Elder Dragons, if I'm not mistaken. But yes, putting that aside, these are the genes that I'm working with and it is extremely fun. There's another gene that I kind of thought about um, using, which is the Merciless gene, if I'm not mistaken. Which technically increases the kinship damage, but of course it is in with the effect of you needing more kinship. So I was actually thinking about using that in X, um, aside from the salt in wood, but in the end I, I decided not. So this is basically my build. It's a fun build um, for you guys to try it out. I'm at my Hellblade is at level eighty five, and he dish out about six k. You know that's 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 some good damage. That is indeed some good damage, and I'm not even riding my Hellblade. So yeah, this is my build, and I hope you guys do enjoy this. You know, do, do, do enjoy this build. And if you guys have other Hellblade cleverness build, if you guys believe um, it's good, it's fun, leave them down in the comments below. Heck, if you think mine is trash, let me let me know why. You know, I'm always down for improvements. That's what that's what games are for. I, I just love trying out the more different builds. And I will definitely give you guys more builds in the future. As always, guys, stay safe. If you like the if you like this build, give a thumbs up. Do subscribe for more Monster Hunter stories to content and I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay safe, peace out.